Our next story is from Senegal, a nation in West Africa. They just had an election and they're set to welcome Africa's youngest ever elected president. The provisional results are in and the people of Senegal have chosen. They're bringing in Basiru Diome Fay. Fay turned 44 yesterday. 12 days ago, he was in jail. He's a former tax inspector who says he's bent on eradicating corruption. Well, that profile may sound similar to our Indian viewers, but Fay is not really one for the limelight. He has bluntly said that he is a proxy for Senegal's most famous opposition leader, Usmane Sonko. Here's our report. Senegal went to polls on Sunday. It was supposed to be a close election. A David versus Goliath showdown between the old guard and the new, between established politicians and young upstarts, between business as usual and a political overhaul. At the end of the day, it wasn't much of a contest. The old system has fallen, and a new Senegal seems to have emerged, helmed by this man, Basiru Diomaye Fai. The Senegalese people have chosen to break with the past, to give substance to the immense hopes raised by our vision of society. I hope that our vision of society has given substance to their aspirations. Faye will be Senegal's next president. The final vote count isn't out yet, but all his major opponents have conceded defeat and congratulated Faye on his victory, including former Prime Minister Amadou Ba. Congratulations once again to President Diomaye Faye. I wish him every success at the helm of our country. May God accompany him as he carries out his mission for the greatness of our nation and the well-being of our population. Basiru Diomaye Faye is set to become Africa's youngest ever elected president. Yesterday wasn't just the day Faye won the election, it was also his 44th birthday. Faye isn't some career politician. He hasn't spent decades in parliament before trying to win the presidency. If you actually look at his story, it seems to be a miracle that he will become president. Fai spent most of his 20s and 30s in a government job, as a tax inspector. The tax job is where he cut his political teeth. He helped form unions, fought for workers' rights, and it is there that he met his political mentor, Usman Sonko. Usman Sonko is the rock star politician, the one who energizes the crowd, the one who inspired the revolution against the old regime. Another former tax inspector, Sonko entered politics to tackle corruption in Senegal. Sonko contested and came third in Senegal's last presidential election. This was in 2019. Throughout that campaign, Fai was his loyal right-hand man. Fai has been at Sonko's side since their tax inspector days. He has been helping Sonko try and change the system. But Sonko's popularity came at a price. Their former party, PASTEF, came under attack in 2021. The establishment eventually jailed Sonko and dismantled the party. Sonko was barred from running for president over a conviction in a defamation case. Fai was also thrown behind bars last year. But crucially, the right-hand man was not disqualified from standing for the presidency, which is when the plan was hatched. Fai would be Sonko's proxy. Sonko is Fai, Fai is Sonko. That was a slogan used in the run-up to this election. Fai has no problem with that. Sonko too is happy that Fai won. He is more upright than me, he's more organized than me, and he has better methods. I'm more eloquent and more handsome, but he's better. The two have worked together for years. They share a close friendship. One of Fai's sons was even nicknamed Usman after Sonko. But the real test begins now. Senegal has put a lot of faith in these two men. Let's hope they deliver.